Okay, so the three actions for generous listening are number, number one. Number one <laughs> is listening to discover, not to respond. And I'll give you a quick example. We quite often are listening to people with an already loaded answer, or we're gonna get our two cents in, or we're gonna show set, them how fabulous we are, and how smart and how witty. So we're gonna eliminate that. And we're just when someone's speaking, you're listening. You're listening to discover something new, so they feel like they're really seen, loved, and heard. So pull that's out, pull out the gold in them, and that's amazing. right. Listening for the gold. I like that one. Okay, number two. So number two is giving up your right to be right, even, even when, when you know, know you're right. right. <laughs> so we've all been there. We're listening to someone, and you know you're right. And they're sharing and, and you're fighting for your opinion and maybe you're, you're not listening nobody's listening and maybe you're with a mr know-it-all or maybe you're a mr know-it-all or yeah. mrs know-it-all and it doesn't create any environment of love of connection yeah. of anything and you're not present you're, it's impossible to be present when you're trying to convince the other person that you're right so generous listening is giving up your right to be right even though you know you're probably right Mm -hmm. Yeah, and what's number three? Number three is actually take somebody in your life, maybe someone that talks too much, maybe someone you haven't given enough attention to, someone you care about, and really ask them, hey, what are you passionate about right now? Or what are you working on right now? And let them just speak, even if it's annoying Aunt Agatha that talks and talks and talks and talks and talks, you want to let them just talk everything out. And when you think that they've talked enough or they're finished, you say, and then what else? Yeah, is there anything else? Is there anything else? Yeah. Is there anything else? And maybe you might have to pry it. Maybe it's, you know, dad that doesn't say more than three words. Just keep saying, is there anything else, dad? Yeah. What about this? What about this? Just get really fascinated yeah. with letting people talk out exactly what they want to share of, of who they're up to, of, of who, they're, who they're creating themselves to be in the world. It is so rare that anyone listens to people that way or keeps asking, asking is there anything more? Is there anything more? Is there anything more? So people really feel seen, heard, yeah. and loved. It's beautiful when you watch it yeah. unfold in front of you. And that person may actually talk less because they finally feel heard. Mm -hmm. You might be the one person that's let them actually share. And what they might share might be pure gold. So again, you're listening for the gold. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And is there anything else? 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 Uh -huh. Is there anything else? <laughs> <laughs> so that's your actionable steps for this week in generous listening and uh, under our connection and, um, and setting, setting you up. Setting yourself up for the win. Setting yourself up for the win. Winning your relationships. This is beautiful stuff. You're going to have so much fun with it. Mm. Really take this on with full force. You will love the outcomes. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Have fun. Mm -hmm.